folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, I'm gonna be over at my neighbor's making more deer sausage. Now this is gonna be the jalapeno cheddar. And you saw me make those jalapeno cheddar sausage stuffed rolls back a few weeks ago. And if you tried it, there's a pretty high chance it didn't work for you as good as it worked for me. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you why it worked for me so well, exactly how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna start with the pink Himalayan salt. That's the only thing that we weigh out here because we don't want it to go bad. I'm gonna use a base of Legs brand blend tin sent to me by a fellow by, by the name of Sam, and I really appreciate that. We're gonna be using Camp Dog Seasoning from Papa Scott, and we're gonna be using a variety of other things, including mustard seed, mustard powder, onion and garlic, black and white pepper. This recipe, we don't put the fat through twice. We're gonna put it through one time only. That's the way I did it on the last time and it worked to a charm and it works hand in hand with our cheddar cheese, our high temp cheddar cheese. It's gonna be roughly the same size. So we're gonna grind this fat up right now. Some of this is actually smoked fat from off of a ham. The rest, regular mangalitsa fat that we saved back in the past. So it may have a little meat in it, but for the most part, pure good back fat. And that's what we want. All right, fat's going in the freezer. We're gonna grind the meat now. All right, while they're grinding, I'm gonna take my jalapenos and I'm gonna cut the stems off. These are still jalapenos that Mary grew. Unbelievable. We still have them in 2024. They're a little shriveled, but they're not rotten. So it's gonna work out perfect. I'm just gonna take the stems off and they can go through the grinder just like that. opening up my brand new legs brand blend number 10 and I'm gonna put this equally between these two now this technically seasons 25 pounds we've got double that here so that's why I'm able to use other things and that's very nice we went ahead and did the figures and sort of come up with our salt figures for the extra and that's just gonna go in like this and now we're starting our seasonings I learned from two guys in the cooler that in this sausage, it's really nice to have the whole mustard seed in here. And since I did it and I tasted it, I agree, it's really good. In conjunction with the seed, we obviously have to have the powder because that's where a lot of that flavor comes in. I wanna use the whole one here. Seems like a lot, don't it? Now, I'm going to let you sprinkle a little black pepper and a little white pepper. And I'm going to do some of this garlic powder. Garlic powder is one thing I don't go heavy on. That just, that's too much like Frank to go heavy on that. But we like Frank, don't we? Not going to go extremely heavy on the onion powder either. Oh, camp dog, never, ever forget your camp dog. I want to say a big thank you to Papa Scott for sending me this. This is 
the uh, mild blend, so we're not gonna get too overly hot with this. But this has got stuff in it that's gonna really go well with jalapeno. And so that's what we're doing there. We're done with that. Now, we're gonna put it in the mixer. We're gonna mix meat, seasoning, fat, and cheese. This is the reason why if you tried making the sausage roll and it didn't turn out for you and it was crumbly, this next step is what you need to do to make that cure that problem. It won't be crumbly when you get done. I took the temperature of this. It was 29.7 degrees. That's very important to have it cold. The mixer is going to slowly heat it up. So you don't want to start at 34 and end up in the forties. You want to start down low and work your way up. My fat's fixing to come out of the freezer and so is the cheese. All right, we've mixed it for about half the time that we need to mix it. We had more meat than we could actually put the cheese and the fat in with, so we're gonna to have to do half and half. But I'll just give you an example of why this works so good for the sausage roll. You take this meat and put it on your hand and it won't fall off. It is so sticky, it won't shake off. And it's that stickiness that keeps it from being crumbly. And later on in this video, I'm gonna show you how we roll it out and make this roll. And that's the reason we want it so tacky so we're going to get the fat and the cheese and get it in and get back to mixing this is high temp cheddar and this is low temp mangalitsa fat melts at a very low temperature and that's why we stuck it in the freezer before we mix Just yesterday, I got a comment asking why in the world I would put so much pork fat in with my deer meat. The reason is because deer meat is so extremely lean, it has no fat in it. And when you fry it up or grill it or however you cook it, if it has no grease, it's not gonna be juicy. And if you like your meat to be juicy, you don't want it to be dry. <laughs> He's gonna unhook this and he's gonna do a little test with a hand crank to see how much power this machine is having to force to pull this meat through. This meat has extracted those proteins and it is literally just bound together. There's no binder. We didn't use anything like cornstarch, potato starch, nothing like that. It's just pure proteins of the meat. Yeah, Okay. So, there you got it. If you have to hand crank it, you can hand crank it. This proof is in the pudding. Either that or he's stronger than you are. <laughs> uh, so that's fun. We're going to get some out. We're going to fry some up. 
and we're going to do an initial taste test before we make our stuffed sausage roll which is coming up shortly. This is before and this is after. Look here how this, it's already been mixed some, but you can tell it's not near as mixed as this. That's beautiful. All right, for our first initial taste test, we're gonna eat them burger style, just like on burger buns. And boy, oh boy, it looks good. Does anybody already have a Verdict on it for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. And we'll bring it right up here for the camera to see Ooh. just how juicy oh. that mangalitsa fat makes these burgers. Mm -hmm. And it's not crumbly at all. I could probably shake this 30 miles an hour and it wouldn't fall apart. Mama, yes, sir. I can't even taste that. <laughs> One thing that a cheese filled sausage calls for, and that is more cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Never too much cheese. Wow. That's not bad at all. Not spicy. What's for lunch, Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Just teasing. That may be the best taste test I've ever had. This right here is Katie's cousin, Hello. Tim Miller, and he's from Ohio. Ohio, wow. Oh, Came Ohio. a long ways to be here for this. Yeah, I grew up next door to Katie, so. Yeah. Poor me. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. The <clears throat> stories. Yes, poor you. Something changed between then and now because I live next door to her and it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, that is so good. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to try the sausage rolls. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get into making the sausage roll now. Stay tuned because you're going to like what you see. All right, at this point, we're going to stuff most of it into bags. We're going to save out some for the sausage roll, so don't worry. Folks, it is time to make the sausage stuffed sausage rolls. Can you hand me that sausage, please? Awesome. I'm just gonna take one because we're making two sausage rolls. This is roughly two pounds right here. We're going to take this sticky sausage that is so bound together because we extracted the proteins and we're gonna roll it out flat on this saran wrap. And she's got the nice rolling pin. I'm gonna spray the rolling pin down a little bit because it will wanna stick. You wanna roll it a little bit? Yeah. If you uh, will want to try it, go ahead. I'll hold this so not run away from me. Look at her, folks. Miss Grace, she is a meat roller. And it needs to come all the way in. 
It needs to go from one end to the other all the way. That's not so thin though. Yep, it's gonna be wonderfully thin. That's the reason why we made it like we did, so we could make it thin. Okay. Yep, use them muscles. She, she's been working on her muscles, folks. She's pretty strong. She's been milking a cow quite a bit. Okay, you got it. Now it's my turn. I get to go this way. Can you help hold that, keep it from spinning? I'm trying to spin. Well, what do you think of that? We've got to make our filling. So, in order to make our filling, we're going to separate half of these onions, caramelized onions, right into this bowl. They look weird. They do, don't they? We love weird onions. Yeah. We're gonna take the cream cheese. I'm gonna let you take this bacon and crumble half of that in there. Oh. Does that sound like a good deal? Just break it up as small as you want. I'm trying to open this cream cheese. I've already got it warm slightly, so it's not going to be hard to mix in. In order to warm it, you just stick it on the warming rack above the stove. That wood I fire is hot. Wait, now. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to trick me, Mom. Well, she's that's trying the to same be like time. Me. The girl oh. likes her bacon. Uh -huh. Ooh, I will let you clean out the wrapper. Let me get just a little more off of it and then you can have it. All right, what are you gonna do when you clean it out? Are you gonna eat it? Uh, basically eat the All right, it's all yours. And we'll save this bacon for the next one. All right, I'm just gonna mix the onion into the bacon and into the cream cheese all in one big beautiful, beautiful conglomeration. In this video, we're not putting in the mushrooms because I forgot to buy some. But this looks like it's gonna be plenty the way it is anyway. This is only half. Now I'm just spreading it all on here. Now Grace, mm -hmm. rolling it up. By far my funnest part. But first I gotta spread it on. See how I can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Ain't that cute? Mm -hmm. I just, I've got the move and the groove, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh me. With any, with any cinnamon roll, you have to start tight. So we're going to start tight, just like that. And then we're gonna roll it again. Then we're gonna roll it again. It's like a log. It's a log. It's a meat log of delicious, wonderful beauty. And every time it rolls around, it's getting another layer of that good old onion, cream cheese, mm, goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Let's come around again and come around again. Is it pushing it off in front or is it okay? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's pushing a little. I'm trying to push. I've never had that happen before. I think that excess extra bacon grease may be making it a little more easy to push. And look here, Grace, just like that, we're done. I'm gonna pull this side up. And look. Look at this. I have to give it some touches. I have to give it some pinches. I want this meat to stick together and not be uh, blowing out any juice. Do you want to hold the pan for me? Sure. Okay, I still got a little more pinching to do here. It's very important. And then I'm gonna feather this down like that. Is it so fat? Oh, it's fat. It may end up being a little flatter than it is tall because it's a little juicier with the goody. I'm gonna roll it like this, right off. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna put it there like that. That's sort of got the shape I'm wanting. Whether or not it stays like that, I don't know, but it goes back over there. I'm gonna go back to my original position. Can you bring me the other sausage, please? Can you dump it? Oh, 
Grace. Did it come out? Oh, she can't take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to get this started. And then I'll roll it. And then you'll roll it. Yeah, yeah. She, oh man, if she rolls her sleeves up, look out. She means business. <laughs> business. She's a business woman. I feel sorry for the cow tonight. She's going to have all these extra muscles. You've been milking that cow so fast, she's going to feel like she's just been pun abused. Hey, Lucas. She's got, she's getting with it. Look here. She's got this under control. I've even got my hair up. She's even got her hair up. Lucas, what are you saying back there? <laughs> all kinds of sneaky things. My hair is mumbling. Mm hmm. We know something's wrong when there's some mumbles. Mm -hmm. All right, we're ready to mix the mix. Wait, but we don't have cream cheese. <gasps> oh, but we do. Mom, can you bring the cream cheese? Yes, I can. Look, she's got smoked cream cheese. Now, folks, this cream cheese right here, Adam took camp dog and layered all over it. All four, uh, no, six sides. <laughs> And once he got that done, he smoked it for probably an hour and a half. So we've got smoked cream cheese with camp dog going in. And that's going to be some kind of good. We're looking forward to seeing how the taste difference is. I'm done with that. Oh, she's already got the baking job done. I didn't even have to tell her mom. I'm this out, she took initiative on her own and done that really nicely. She learns quick. She does. Here's this. We are incorporating our onion now and our bacon. The bacon is mangalitsa bacon, just like the same fat here. We're kind of a mangalitsa type people, you know, Drake. Mm -hmm. We like fat. We like fat. We like meat. We like bacon. We like. All right, let's go ahead and do this again. Oh, she said that's got some warmth to it. That's daddy's fault. Don't blame that on me. Daddy done that. But you let him. No, I didn't. He done that on his own. I couldn't have stopped him if I'd have been loaded for bear. Right, it's time to do our thing again here. You ever hear that poem, mark it, roll it, and no, pat it, roll it, and mark it with a B, and throw it in the oven for baby and me? Yeah. That's what we're it's doing called here. patty cake. Yes, it is called patty cake. This girl knows her rhymes. I learned them when I was in kindergarten. Kindergarten, man, alive, and here I am still bringing them up at the ripe old age of 46. I'm actually 45 now, but when the video comes out, I'll be 46. <laughs> and just like that, we flip it, flip, just like that, flip, flip, flip. All right, here we go. I gotta do this because I, I can't roll it from here to here again, so I have to be able to get out of there. That. What do you think of that, Grace? Shall we, shall we try it? Uh, not yet. Let's put it. Cooked. All right, we've got 350 or a little higher. I'm gonna slide it in right here on the top row. That'll be good right there. All right, we're gonna bake this for about an hour on 350. Mmm, that looks good. They're holding out and not bursting. Yeah, they're keeping shape beautifully. Mm -hmm.
All right, we've got three youngsters here trying out the sausage roll. It's kind of, it's hot right now. Is it hot right now? Yeah, it's hot. Okay, maybe cut the outside off where it's cooler. Oh, that thing fell apart. Yeah. What do you say, Grace? Oh man, he really went for that. Was that good? Get something. Mmm. And Caleb. Everybody's just going for it. She had a burger out of it this morning for lunch. Really good. Is it as good as the last we made? About the same or? Don't know? This guy, he just loves it. I think it's a little bit. Yeah? I want you to see what he's drinking. Big Red. You like Big Red? That's a Texas drink, you know that? <laughs> I mean, his favorite color is red. Is it? What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Caleb, do you have a favorite color? I think it's green. <laughs> Is it good? Awesome. Oh, Mary's going in, going in for one. Oh, two. Oh, my. <laughs> Boy, I wish I could sit and eat with you. I gotta eat. I have to eat all that. <laughs> they are great, aren't they? Mary and Cynthia made those biscuits. They are the best. I know what I'll do. I'll try my sausage here with Grace. Let me dig in to the heart of it. The heart's the best. It is, ain't it? The heart of the roll. I'm having trouble here. I'm just gonna have to bite it off. I had to do that. Mm. I just did bite. <laughs> That's the way us men can do, just bite it off. Mm. <laughs> If he's like biting the tail off, I'm going to bite the tail off again. <laughs> mm. Folks, that's something real good. All I can tell you is you need to try it. Get you some deer meat or beef or lamb or pig <laughs> or goat. <laughs> yeah, meat. Just any kind of meat. Mix it up with some jalapenos, some camp dog seasoning. Mix it until it gets sticky. Throw your fat and cheese in there and do the recipe that Grace showed you. Roll it out good like Grace did. It'll be good. I'm almost done. Y'all wanna say the ending? Well, that's all we've got for you today. Wait, Hope I you have a great day. day. And we'll, we'll see, see you on the next video. video. <laughs> all right.